tablets and smartphones are the gadgets at the moment, but a new product may soon attract some of your hard-earned bucks. It's called a 3D printer. And if you thought the laptop was revolutionary, wait till you see what this promises. The CBC's Harvard Gould explains. This tube is bringing a filament of ABS plastic down into the extruder head. All of a sudden, 3D printing is taking off. This prototype is a consumer-friendly 3D printer from a new Canadian company trying to capitalize. Uh, we're making a little squirrel. It's a demo object we really like. Uh, it looks cute. With 3D printing, all you need is a 3D file off the computer, some raw plastic, and you can make something layer by layer. We've speeded things up here to show how you can print an object in much the same way you print a document. This is going to be great for anybody who wants to make stuff. We really think that that sort of market is really going to explode in the next few years. It's exploding now. This show in London, a coming out party for the technology. You're able to create stuff that you weren't able to create before, so it's really amazing. It's just gone wild within the, the maker space and the, the consumer area. It's just starting to really come to fruition. The idea has been used for years by architects and others needing precision models. But now consumer products are appearing, including many strangely shaped shoes. And in the last three weeks, a retail store has opened in New York selling 3D printers for consumers. Often people want to make toys, but... They also make doorstops, they make doorknobs, they make pliers, they make parts for their cameras, they make jewelry. It's not just plastics. Some printing can be done with metals, and companies are looking for easy ways to use multiple materials in one product. At the University of Toronto, Matt Ratto says the 3D printer may be as revolutionary as the personal computer. He sees a future full of local print shops, not putting out resumes or essays, but consumer products. So you would go to a store in order to get, you know, dishware made, in 3D printed, and you'd go to a place where you would get your cell phone made, and you'd go to a place where you get your shoes made. As with any new technology, it can be expensive, but that's changing, and 3D printing can be very efficient. This is an adjustable wrench printed with moving parts and no assembly required. Think of it, things designed and scanned anywhere in the world and then printed precisely where they are needed. No shipping, no warehouses. Okay, just don't look at me though. To demonstrate, we scanned our CBC intern at the show in London. She's now on file and in theory could be printed wherever there is a suitable machine. An extreme example, of course, but also a sign of the very different future now taking shape. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Toronto.